Hello and welcome to this tutorial about how to create a sand table. This will be the first video in a series of three. In this video I'm going to talk a bit about the main issues and some main topics like how much sand to use and so on. Um, the next video will be about the mechanics. I will open the table up for you and then uh, we will look into that a bit. And the third video will be about the software. I uh, used ABMT and uh, we talk a bit about the model, the concepts and uh, yeah, we look into the view and uh, yeah, about sensors and stuff. So yeah, you can download the software at GitHub, here's the URL and um, yeah. So let's start with the introduction. Um, I started this table in 21 in uh, the first week of November and it was finished the first version was finished in uh, before Christmas so it took roughly six weeks for me I had to work during the day I, I did it in my spare time and um, yes um, then it took a year to make some modifications and make things better and uh, the main issues I had to had trouble with were noise and um, the other thing is a jumping ball. So the steel ball makes little small jumps uh, and uh, yeah, that's a bit a problem. So uh, first uh, talk about um, the noise problem a bit. So um, there are three main rules I figured out how to um, fight noise. The first and important one is fight it at the source. So in this case the stepper motors. Um, I used BPIO to control them to have a smooth movement but other things are like uh, decoupling them um, and um, take the smallest stepper motors you can get you don't need much much force here, so uh, smaller motors make less noise. Yeah, the second rule is decouple masses. So when you got two masses, um, couple them with a spring or something that acts like a spring, something that is a bit wobbly and um, yeah reacts to force. So when you to have two uh, two masses decouple them with an o-ring or with a piece of cork um, or some other uh, plastic material. Um, let me see, I get something to show it to you a bit. So I have uh, two pieces of wood here. So when I knock them, you hear that it's making noise. Now I decouple them. I have to hold it here a bit. It's, it sounds like much much less noise. The same here. So now it's these two masses um, vibrate and when I decouple it, so now let's keep this here and I add this o-ring here then you have much less noise. So this is uh, another uh, thing, uh, rule of design. And uh, another interesting uh, thing is reduce the area, the vibrating area. So uh, things like this cut out when you don't need this area, cut it out. Then it will still vibrate, but not, um, you won't hear it this much. This is a huge effect. I, uh, yeah. So um, yeah, for the rest, uh, yeah, another thing I did, uh, you could save some money, but I'm a bit, I don't like glass and I don't like the acoustic of glass. So I took a security glass here. It's two, um, two layers of glass with a thin transparent foil in between. And you hear this, so when I touch this, it's uh, yeah, a much, uh, better noise for me yeah so that's another tip um, yeah the rest um, that's 
talk a bit about um, the slippery ball or the jumping ball. Um, yeah, so I have here my, my table combination. Um, one thing I did was uh, this, the surface here. So uh, the thickness of the surface is important for, for the magnet force. You need much less than you think. So this table has a diameter of 60 centimeter. So the sand area is 60 centimeter, the whole diameter is 90. And um, yeah, uh, I started with uh, three millimeter wood and one millimeter foil. And uh, now I'm at one and a half millimeter uh, a wooden plate. It comes from, I think, model RC airplanes. Um, yeah, and uh, the less the better. And uh, this bent, uh, the, the three millimeter uh, wooden plate bend it also. You have a small bending here. So the center of the table is a bit, uh, is at another level than the, the corner. Um, yeah, and I decided that I, uh, the magnet that's here, that it slides on, on this plane. And one thing I learned and how amazing Teflon is. So I used, first of all, uh, uh, the, my first uh, draft was, um, was a uh, uh, fabric. So it was the maglet was sliding on a fabric. And then I switched to Teflon. So this is a very cheap Teflon glider. And Teflon has the effect that you that the force uh, you you need to move it uh, is to is the same than to start the movement and uh, it won't slip yeah so it it slips it glides but uh, it won't jump so I use Teflon here um, noise you hear now noise when I'm sliding it but you won't hear it when it's in the table. Um, the noise problems you have are more from noises that are transferred to the whole table and not sliding like this one. So you hear also the ball when it's moving the sand and when the force is pressing the sand into the surface, uh, you won't hear this later. Yeah? But noises that, that travels through the construction and through the table, uh, you will hear them. So, um, one other thing is, uh, one other uh, reason for, for jumping movement is the magnet combination. Let's explain this here with this magnet. Um, when you have a bigger magnet, you need not that, that big much, that huge magnet, but uh, this one isn't enough, this small one. And when you have a magnet with a large area, you don't need much force to uh, to move this uh, bell. So there's some kind of hysteresis in the middle. At the at the corner, you, the, the force is much larger, and that, and this makes the the ball, uh, yeah, not very. Uh, uh, the the force to the center is not that much. So one thing you can do is stack another magnet on on top of it, and then. Yeah, it's a much stickier. So, and when you only have the small magnet, the force isn't enough and then you still have this effect. So, uh, this is something I figured out. Yeah, and then let's talk a bit about uh, the, f the surface. The surface is also very important. So, um, let's see if I, I take some paper here. Watch out for the noise. So let's put here some obstacle and the magnet. You see here, oh yeah, you see it here also on the surface. So the ball isn't running that um, smooth on, on the wooden surface. And uh, 
what helps there is to add a bit a softer surface on top of the wood so this is uh, this is a foil um, it's coming from gardening and uh, this makes the movement much much smoother um, I also put another layer of fabric in between but that's not necessarily needed but having such uh, a PVC foil that's a bit uh, um, flexible will also improve the movement so yeah I think that's basically uh, the things I wanted to talk to you in the first video so I stop this video and uh, for the next video I open up the table so thank you for watching and bye bye